Hey guys, RB Forex Trader and Coach here. Thursday morning, uh, post FOMC minutes. Uh, just sort of hit the beach and uh, show you this. There's some really nice clouds going, or sky going on here. So, um, just thought I'd give you a look at that. Um, while I talk about yesterday, um, yeah, so yesterday when I made the Wednesday video, I was a bit unsure as to whether the, the, the retraction trend that we're in was going to continue or not. Um, I could see, well, there wasn't a lot of uh, movement, price movement on the four hourly. Um, but we had reached uh, the 100 hourly, uh, the 100 MA on the 4 hourly. So we probably needed to str struggle through that. And I also think that um, there was a, a large degree of waiting for the FOMC. Um, to be honest, I hadn't reviewed the news releases for this week. Um, so I. Uh, I didn't realize that there was an FOMC uh, and I might just add to that that I don't tend to look at the news releases anymore I used to I used to do it religiously even set the uh, alarms to certain releases but um, it's quite unsustainable and unnecessary um, it, uh, it's, it's pretty exhausting as well. You know, you can wake yourself up in the middle of the night to to um, an event that doesn't really come to fruition. Um, falls on its face, so to speak. So, you know, it's, you tend to lose a lot of sleep and so forth. And I also realized that uh, with the signal I discovered, that you don't need to watch the news. Once your trend is in place and is showing, uh, then it, uh, you can rely upon that showing until it's reached its uh, set goal. Um, gold is like that. It's, um, it's very unique like that. Um, it trades, I've said this before, it trades very predictably and uh, uh, yes, I'm trying to think of another word. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, it trades very, very predictably and, and very repetitively. Um, and it's, I think it's more than a coincidence that we often see uh, trend changes and trend finalization at uh, round whole numbers uh, significant numbers you know people can call them psychological numbers but I think you know so 1250 12 1300 1350 back to 1250 etc um, this will really come down to manipulation um, whoever's controlling it has just set that as being the current goal and the current range that we're gonna we're gonna trade in and uh, away we go. Um, refute that if you like, it doesn't really matter. We, we, we don't really know from here what's really going on uh, and and exactly who's doing it. But what we care about is whether we're, we're in the trend or not because we're, if we're in the trend we're making money and we're we're making 30% uh, a week on a trending week uh, which we're still not in because we're in a, a retraction trend um, and the idea is to compound that as many weeks of the year as possible so uh, we also have some major data at the end of this week which I think is CPI again same thing um, it's major data 
but uh, a lot of the time it's manipulated to look good and then it's going to be reviewed in a week or so, uh, in a month or so, up or down. Um, so is it really significant data? It doesn't matter. Stay in the trend, find the trend, see the trend, stay in the trend, and I'm talking weekly trends here. Um, and just use the four hourly to, uh, um, I guess, monitor the trend that we're in. Um, trading this way, this way gives you a huge amount of confidence and safety. Uh, it takes a lot of the insecurity away, a lot of the anxiety, uh, and you can basically live uh, a very free and easy life um, knowing that you're in the trend. You can go surfing, go fishing, go sailing, travel for a little bit, and you know, we're talking weeks, um, and just from time to time monitor your monitor your trades um, you know you're going to have periods of being in the trend and uh, going through consolidation but if you know that you're in the, the major trend uh, then you'll wait for that consolidation to break which it will in your favour so you'll wake up to positive um, profit in, in your on your trades okay uh, sorry, been a bit, been a bit flat in the last couple of days. I've just been going to the dentist and um, getting some stuff sorted out. So um, it tends to sort of affect affect your your performance um, pretty quickly, pretty easily. The old mouth, it's a you know, it's a sensitive area. All right, guys, um, all the best. Get in touch with me if you'd like. Um, what else could I add? Uh, what else have we got coming up? Yeah, I, th I think this trend will probably go to 1300. Even though I constantly say, uh, don't predict, don't don't target numbers. I've done that before. I've targeted 1200 and we've stopped short, and the price has turned on me. But it's looking, just by uh, observing the chart and my trend signal, that we're headed to 1300. Um, I said it a while back and then if we don't have any black swans, North Korea um, war games, uh, Star War games, we will likely retract back, uh, not retract back, but come back to the to the major trend, downward trend that we were in. So um, let's wait and see what happens with that. My signal will tell me uh, and give me confirmation that's undeniable. So um, let's see what happens. All right, guys. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.